everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway. I don't often do Sunday videos, but I've got a little bit of a bonus for you today, so I hope you're going to enjoy it. Right, a couple of weeks ago, out of the blue, I got an email from a chap called Ian um, from Hobby King. I think it's hobbyking.com. And he asked me if I would want to have a look at some of these 40-foot uh, containers they are. And uh, I, uh, I thought, well, that's, that's an interesting request. So what I did was I went on and looked at their website, hobbyking.com. And they do all sorts of different scenery, trees and things like that, you know. And these containers, of course, that kind of thing. And you know me, I like a bargain. And I noticed on that website that all of the prices were really, really good. I mean, we all love Hornby and Backman and um, Woodland Scenics. Their stuff is really, really good. But they're not exactly generous, are they, with their pricing? And when I was on Hobby King, I noticed that the prices were really, really good. Uh, these... Um, box containers I think were less than four pounds each and as we're going to see in a moment they really are very well detailed so uh, I said you know yes please feel free to send me some because I'll be very very happy to help um, any company that isn't going to rip off their customers so yeah I'm not getting paid anything actually for these he just literally sent me these and I'm really happy to show them so yeah as I was talking about generous <laughs> quite a few here I think there's 10 in total and as you can tell they're all sort of brands that you'll know I can see Piano there Costco I recognize yeah they're all real brands which is quite nice uh, so I'm gonna get these open um, before I do I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with these I mean the possibilities are endless I suppose you could get loads of them I mean for less than four pounds each you could get you know quite a lot you could get 30 or 40 and it'll only cost you a hundred or so pounds and you could make a big goods yard with them I don't know you could you could try and fit them onto wagons I suppose you you could weather one of them up and put it on the side of the layout as a bit of a sort of wrecked item or something like that. You know, there's all sorts. So you guys decide what I do with these, basically. I've got a few ideas, of course, as you can tell. But uh, yeah, it's really going to be up to you what I do with them. So let's get some of these open then and uh, we'll see what they're like. Uh, I have opened one because I was quite intrigued by them, but uh, haven't opened the rest. Right, let's start with this one then. I'm not going to try and pronounce um, the brand, but... Uh, Let's try and get this out now. Yeah, it is a bit awkward to open them, so I'm going to rip the packaging a little bit, which I shouldn't really do. But uh, yeah, and these are manufactured, it looks like, by Micro Rail. So not something I've heard of, I must admit. Okay, so there you have it then. Uh, I'll try and get a close up of that. As you can see, the detail on it is absolutely amazing. I wasn't expecting it to be for the price. So uh, yeah, seems to be good value. Right, as I say, there's 10 of these, so I'm going to get through them. There's a nice green one here that says Evergreen, funnily enough. Micro rail again. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't remember what I was going to say at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, basically, you know, you know me. I like my bargains. And I really did think that these prices were very good from uh, Hobby King. So that's why I'm doing this. I just thought, oh, look at the detail on that one. The ends especially, they've got all of the text on them and stuff. So yeah, I don't exactly know the background of these containers. Um, they sort of remind me of those ones that you see on ships at docks and stuff, you know, being lifted by crane. But uh, yes, I'm sure <laughs> some of you guys out there will know better than I do about these. Right, we've got uh, Yang Ming. It's probably not pronounced like that. Sort of a grey one there. Again, very nice. They've all got different details on the ends, I notice, which is nice. Yep, very, very nice, that one. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, actually, and what I decide to do with them. Um, yeah, possibilities are endless. Right, we've got a Costco one here. Yeah, we've got Costco in the UK, haven't we? Yeah. There we go. Costco, yeah, very nice. Next one, oh, P&O, yeah, we know this. Don't know what they'd put in a P&O box, though. <laughs> Probably supplies and things. I don't know. Oh, that one's nice, isn't it? Look at the printing on it. Fantastic, aren't they, really? I mean, for that kind of money, I was expecting toys. You know, you know what I mean. But uh, no, they're, they're definitely uh, more than toys, I would say. The amount of printing on them, and they, they also feel quality which is another surprise because you'd expect them to be sort of flimsy but uh, yeah they're not they're not at all and uh, I don't think these doors open on the end um, I don't really want to jam my nails in there but no I don't think they do open which is fair enough you know because you'd expect to pay quite a lot more I suppose for something something like that so that one's CMA CGM oh, sorry I forgot to say that um, right we've got this uh, Lin Fox Lin Fox one there Let's open this up go oh that's a nice color isn't it the red one there we go yes very nice um, what have we got here hapagloid <laughs> don't know how to pronounce that but let's have a look and I'm not sure whether they do different sizes of them I think they probably do but these of course are the uh, what are they yeah they're 40 foot ones that's it there you go 
Sorry if I pronounced that one wrong, most likely I did. Again, very nice detailing on the ends. Lots of nice printed work. And they're all faultless as well, I don't know how they go about printing these so cheaply and yet uh, so, you know, perfectly. But uh, yeah, they are very good. Right, I'm not going to pronounce that one because that's going to offend people as a tip. But uh, yeah, another one, lovely blue colour that one. So yeah, I don't know, I mean, if I had a dock somewhere on my layout or something like that, uh, China shipping, that one, um, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? You could build a little crane maybe that's got one dangling from it, something like that. I don't know, I'd just love to see a big pile of these in a dock. That's probably not something I'm going to be able to do at the moment, but uh, maybe one day. China shipping, there you go. Lots of lovely detail on that one. So uh, let's bring all of these in then. There we go. Um, I, should, I suppose I should talk about the weight of them. Um, yeah, I think they're basically, if you look at that and estimate the weight of it, it's exactly what you'd expect. Not too heavy, not too light. It's a sort of average weight. <laughs> Not very useful, is it? I know. So there you have it then. Uh, ten very, very lovely Hobby King uh, box containers. Um, these are made by, as I say, uh, Micro Rail, Micro Rail, I would say. And uh, yes, thank you very much to Ian for sending these in. I have really enjoyed looking at these. And uh, yeah, it's just something a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, it's not trains, but uh, it's train related at the very least. So yeah, if these interest you and if you've got an idea um, for something that I could do with them, drop me a comment. And also feel free to go and look at Hobby King because if you're like me, you'll probably be quite impressed by the range of stuff they have there and, as, and the prices as well. I'm seriously considering buying some trees from there as well because, you know, you don't get many, you know, for 50 quid or so, you won't get many trees, will you, from a model shop or something like that. And, you know, if you want to try and make a forest or something like that, your only option really is to make your own because it's so expensive otherwise. But no, um, you could get quite a few trees from Hobby King for 50 pounds. Um, probably not a whole forest, you know, but yeah, I was very impressed. So thank you, Hobby King, for not ripping us off and uh, let's hope some other manufacturers uh, go the same way. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to let me know what I should do with these if you've got an idea, and uh, I will get on to that. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. I'm posting this Sunday, so yeah, I've got a little uh, Diesel Express review for you, and I hope you'll enjoy it. But for now, that's it from me. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, everybody.